Yeah, man. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you canned ackee fruit stew. All right, so you're gonna need a can of ackee, large one like this, gonna come in one size. By Jamaican ackee. Quarter teaspoon dried pimento berry and onion. Two garlic cloves. Quarter piece sweet pepper or bell pepper. A stalk of scallion. Spring of thyme. It's best if you use a spring of thyme instead of thyme leaves. Um, a pinch of salt. I have scotch bonnet pepper. The ackee fruit is Jamaica's national fruit. Peel garlic, cut off ends, trim off spoilage. Scallion. Remove thine leaves, cut off ends. Root end and the tip of the leaf that's dying. Quarter piece sweet pepper. You can use bell pepper, even paprika. Cut out the inside, clean out the seeds. An onion, slice an onion. No, but first before slicing, peel onion, remove brown leaf. Remember now, first layer of the onion is the strongest. Only if it's spoiled or spoiling, you remove it. Do as you see me doing. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. and get Rastafarian vegetarian dinners as this recipe. And Jamaican breakfast has ackee and saltfish. All right, so do as you see me doing. Get a bowl, add some water, drizzle about a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar, wipe, and then wash your vegetables properly. Use your fingers and rub the scallion leaf properly. With the sweet pepper, use your fingers and rub the corners properly. Wash the thyme stick. The tend to mill juice, wash the thyme stick properly. Remove this water and give it a final rinse. Now, slice onions. Let's make one eighth of an inch slices, or one sixteenth of an inch slices. Keep vegetables separate. Dice scallion. Sweet pepper, slice, sweet pepper. And 
once you slice it, dice it. But this method, I want you to dice the sweet pepper. Keep vegetables separate. Quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries. I'm going to show you a way to maximize flavors using these dried pimento berries without adding them in the meal. Alright, so now I'm adding half scotch bunny pepper. This jar here that I'm closing right now is pickled scotch bunny pepper that I made at home. If you want to see that video, go and check that out. Alright, so you need a can of Jamaican ackee, ackee fruit, garlic, pimento berries, onion, scotch bonnet pepper, scallion, sweet pepper, and oil. I use coconut oil. Alright. And maybe a pinch of salt. Right, now, we're going to open this can of Aki, Jamaica Aki, Aki fruit. Wipe the can, the surface of the can with a clean tablecloth or paper towel. Use your can opener and open the can. If you want to do it my way, all I'm doing is sticking the surface with a sharp knife, sharp, firm knife. And once I get a hole, I just use the knife and open it. Just remember, Cut away from you if you decide to do it this way. Cut away from you. So if it slips, it slips in the atmosphere. Because I cook online, most people have access to the canned ackee. So I felt obligated to do this recipe. And to, I'm declaring it's the very first time I'm using canned ackee. Once I burst the can, you can smell the aroma. It smell like butter aki. Awesome. Best aki, we call it butter aki here in Jamaica. And initially, when I open the can, I smell the butter aki. Look how bright yellow these aki fruits are. Okay, I'm 100% impressed. Look, it's already cooked. You remember I always say when, it, when it's cooked, it have that nice bright yellow color. That's what it has. Get a cal colander like this and pour your ackee in a can in it and let it drain. Once it's drained, you just gently pour some regular fresh water over it and rinse it a little bit. Do as you see me doing. All right, so this is the ackee fruit. It's already cooked. You can, already, you can eat it just like this. It's soft and tenderized. And guess what, guys? You all are getting the quality ackee because we have many species of ackee. If you don't have a colander, you can use a strainer. Alright, so do as you see me doing. Just gently pour some fresh water over the ackee and rinse it. This part is probably not necessary. But force of habit. I like to, anything that I open in a can, I like to rinse off. Rinse off whatever came in it. Rinse off the water that it came in. It's actually the same aki that we get out here. In fact, the, the can one is the, the quality aki. I am like over 100% impressed. All right, from this one can of aki, I'm gonna make two different dishes. Aki, fruit stew, and aki and codfish stew. 
I'm just dividing this portion of Aki equally. This is where you need to go check out the other video if you're watching this one. Because with the other one, I'm going to do Aki and Sawfish. Get a little bit of water ready. We're getting ready to cook Aki fruit stew. Have your ingredients ready. I'm trying to remember the history because I wrote a book. You know. In the book, I'm trying to remember what I wrote. I think it's a, a tribe of people in Africa that were called the Aki tribe. And that's where the word Aki derived from or came from. All right, so put to heat. Uh, um, I'm using a skillet because I'm just going to do a small dish today. I'm going to show you how to get the flavors from these dried pimento berries without having them in the meal. You know sometimes that you have to stop to put them aside to continue eating. Put the skillet or a frying pan or pot to heat. Put the stove gauge on low. Add the dried berries and a tablespoon of coconut oil, cooking oil. I use coconut oil. Just allow the berries to kind of burn or cook for a while. After five minutes, the stove gauge is on low. Why I keep it on low? Because I'm not sure if these berries are gonna burst. So with the stove being on low, it reduces the risk of the berries bursting and hurting you. All right, so remove, use a spoon, a cooking spoon, and remove the berries from the heating oil. Immediately after that, turn the stove gauge on two, Add your sliced onions to the eating little bit of oil. Stir it in a few times. Allow it to saute. Ten, fifteen seconds later. Add your diced scallion, stir it in a few times, allow to saute. After 10-15 seconds, the stove gauge is on too low, kind of low. Um, and the onions are sauteed and have a nice little golden color. The edges of the onion have a nice golden color. Add the active fruits. They're already cooked, so I'm just going to take cooked ackee fruits. Stir it in. When you add the ackee fruits, don't add any water to it. Drink, kind of add just the fruits. Add, add it to the, to the sauteing onion. Stir it in a few times. All right, with the ackee, you know, you got to be really gentle because it's soft. So kind of lift and fold when you stir. Add the scotch bonnet and pepper. Add tablespoon of water use a lid that can fit over the skillet cover it properly and allow stove gauge is on two some people sprinkle black pepper on top you can do that if you wish like a teaspoon or no like half a teaspoon see when you leave the lid on it's gonna build gravy and keep it moist the stove gauge is on two two marks below below all right it's been two minutes this is what it looks like when you stir in the acting remember no it's gentle and soft and easy to break apart so you gotta lift and fold maybe one or two times and finish after that Turn the stove off, that's it, we're finished. Remove the pepper, use a pan's lid, cover the skillet until serving. Remove the time stick, 
sometimes sticks are very strong so you gotta be careful how much time stick you use take a scoop of this of this jamaican nationals fruit aki stew aki fruit is jamaica's national fruit the dish is what we love to cook and we use the aki and saltfish dish to represent the aki fruit this is canned aki fruit stew visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe subscribe like share you should try cooking this meal yourself and give us feedback when you do canned aki stew canned aki fruit stew aki stew Oh yes, the sweet pepper or the bell pepper is optional. You, you could have just cooked this with the onions alone, to be honest. Alright, so I'm gonna sample this canned aki fruit for the first time ever with one st stick of banana, one finger of banana. I'm totally impressed. The aki is clean and nice, fresh. This aki deserves to be exported. International people, you're getting a good product when you buy these aki. I don't have any affiliation with no company here in Jamaica. I just like good things and my intention was to demonstrate. You know, I didn't add any salt to this aki stew. You could eat it without salt. It's not necessary, but if you add a pinch of salt, it will kind of bring up the flavor somewhat. Just a pinch. I'm enjoying this stew. It's one of our quality species of aki. We have many species, but you're getting the ultimate quality, the one we call butter. Some butter aki cook within a second, and they are small. But you have the bigger ones and and they're they just look fat and big and thick. Some parts in the island I guess they grow those types. Those butter aki, you boil it for like five, eight minutes and it's tenderized. That's when they cool it and they, I guess they put it in the can. I'm not sure of the process of the canned aki, but I can tell you this much. The canned aki is 100% safer than even the ones we pick. The flavor of it is clean. I'm impressed. I am impressed. I'm impressed. And you get a, a full can too. And like I said, when I opened the can, initially the flavor came out. I smell butter aki. Once I say the word butter aki, a typical Jamaican would understand what I mean when I say butter aki. The flavor was there. The aroma was there. And the color is there. The flavor of aki is, some people say butter, but the texture of it might make you feel like you're eating butter, but like a lot of people comment, it's a very unique flavor, it's very hard to describe. That's the only thing I can say, you have to try it. I'm not sure, but I want to say we were probably the only country in the world that was eating the aki fruit, because from my understanding, all those other countries, including Africa, they don't eat aki fruit. They think it's poisonous, which it is. You have to be careful how you harvest it. That's another story. So we were the only one that was brave enough to eat it and made it our national fruit. All right, guys, bye. Yeah, man.